eternal God and loving Father, we call upon you today to grace this gathering with your holy presence. Look with favor upon this couple, Mark and Anne, as they pledge their love and seek your blessing upon their union. Through Christ, I pray. Amen. Proverbs 18.22, it declares, The man who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. Clearly, this verse expresses a sentiment from the husband's perspective. Mark, look to your left. Now you sit beside the treasure that you found. Look at her. Isn't she a treasure? <laughs> with Anne and Mark fulfilling their vows, and with friends and loved ones such as you, providing the necessary support to make this happen, this marriage will last, and God will be pleased. that you are to each other. These are the hands of your best friend, full of love for you. Holding hands on this special day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and the rest of your lives. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. These are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for your hands, still touching you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Now the vows that will be affirmed today are made not only before human witnesses, but also before God Himself. Mark my love today in the presence of God and all the witnesses, I pledge my love to you. At first, I did not believe you right away with everything. <laughs> and I'm sorry for not believing you immediately in your true intention. But I know, but I know you understand me because it's not easy to trust someone you have never seen. But you have proven that your love is true and pure. You went to the Philippines just to see me personally. Even though I knew it, it was not easy for you to go back there since you left. And then when I first met you, I start liking you because you are handsome and tall. You have a pointed nose. You are a nice guy and sweet. 
caring, thoughtful person that I know. And then I started liking you more for being responsible, helpful, and protective. At the same time, generous and positive. And I promise to nurture your fashion and enjoying this beautiful life that our God has blessed us with. And I will always pray for you all the time, asking God to keep you always safe. And I will continue to pray for you as a wife and a promise to fill our home full of joy and laughter to raise god fearing children and a promise never go to bed without resolving our conflicts and a promise to listen to you and a promise to love you forever in sickness and in health till death do us part before i met you i was a person I did not deserve you. <laughs> but I gave my life to the Lord and He opened my eyes. Took out things in my life that I thought I needed. He molded me, carried me, walked with me, changed me, and then blessed me. Like a thief in the night, you came into my life unexpectedly. When I first met you, I felt there was something different about you. For some reason, I couldn't get you out of my mind <laughs> and my heart. As if something was whispering to me, that is you. So I took the journey to be with you. And a new chapter in my life started writing. I went to places that I thought I would never go and go again. Because of you, I came back to my homeland, the Philippines, a place I haven't set foot for over 25 years. Going back to my homeland felt like an epic adventure, and with you, felt like home again. As I look back, I started to understand all the reason, the whys, and just give glory to God. I felt He really knew my heart. My heart is you. That you fell in Lopez Espanol, flesh of my flesh, bone of my bones. When I look at you, I see God's blessing. I see His faithfulness in my life. I see the future mother of my children. I see my partner for life, my best friend. I love your beauty and your imperfections. I love your laughter, your silliness. When we, when we hold hands, it reminds me we're one and I'm not alone on this journey anymore. God put us together and I promise in the presence of our family, friends, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to love you, cherish you, honor you, serve you, and be faithful to you as your loving husband. Mahal kita. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the special honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark Christian and Teofil and Espanol. You may now kiss.
the best day ever You are the best day ever Yo, ah, uh, ah uh. I'm away, got the coffee poured, but I'm running late, going out the door. But I'm on my way, heading out of door when the coffee fell straight on the floor. <laughs> you ever felt this way before when your face is sore and your brain is raw? And all you wanna do is complain some more, cause every highway lane feels like a war. It's a struggle to praise the Lord, but you on a race and you blaze it forward. And your faith needs to grow some more, so when the road gets hard, just remain assured that this is the best day ever. Where I get changed Had to be the one where I get saved From all the ways that I was and I've been made Brand new when your love made a quick change Had me heading down the road when I switched lanes Now everywhere I go now it's so plain Took everything I've done in the same way Turn all around like a Segway Seen through it all like an X-ray And ever since I found just the best way Every single day just a blessed day uh. This is the best day ever Just a hug when you're going through your worst it's kinda like It's like you're laughing with your friends till your sides ache Laying on your bed while you're both staying up It's, like it's what you're saying to your crush back in first grade Or finding love 